all right guys good morning today is the last day of the turkey run today is sunday bright and early i woke up this morning because i wanted to go across and see what's there to buy to get to get to get oh my goodness to get something cool for the house you know and um i've been bumping into people that have cars that i really like and today i'm gonna be doing a couple short interviews for you guys so that you guys can see these cars that we show on our instagram account every single day but that we don't have the chance to meet the owner so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do let me know with a big like and if it is your first time passing by the channel remember to subscribe let's go we're here with charles and his 1953 cadillac coupe deville uh charles how you doing man yeah awesome tell me a little bit about this beautiful car uh, she's a 1953 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, full air ride, got a 5.3 liter Vortec 4L80 transmission, so she's ready to cruise anywhere, anytime. You know, big red, can't beat it, gets the looks, sits down on the frame. Just a good uh, ride for the family, just mm -hmm. enjoy it and have fun with it. How long have you had it? 16 years. 16 years? 16 years. Wow. Yeah, she's part of the family. And I see that you come here every single year. Just about. Every year that she's available, we make a turkey rod run, slam fest, we do all types of shows just to enjoy it. I mean, she's a driver. And where are you guys from? Tampa, Florida. Tampa? Yep. Nice. So you're not too far? Not far at all. Nice. All right, guys. So here you have a 1953 Cadillac Coupe de Ville. Beautiful red color, bagged. I mean, it can't get any better. Looks amazing. Thank you, Charles. Not a problem. Have a good day. You too. All right guys, and there's a Chevy Coupe, 1950 Chevy Coupe, just like mine. But this one obviously is on steroids. Badass. Are you ready for this? Look at this, man. What a beautiful coupe, just like mine. So this is what mine would look like if I start doing things to it. They came all the way from Alaska. Holy crap. Look at this, man. What a beautiful ride. All right, I had to show you this car. I really had to. I couldn't pass on this. I like how they removed all the chrome and they painted it matte black. All the chrome, the wheels, all of this is chrome and they painted it uh, matte black. Beautiful car, man, beautiful combination. It came out really nice. And like I told you guys on another video, the best time to come and buy cars in Daytona is the last day, Sunday, today. Why? Because you get the best deals for your um, money. Over here we have a tea bucket. This is, um, they're selling it for $13,500. Um, as you guys can see, they already lowered their price for, for, for from $14,500. I bet you anything that if you guys offer this guy $11,000, he'll give it to you. Why? Because most likely, most likely he doesn't want to take it home he's tired of this car he doesn't want to have to put it in a trailer and haul it back to his house so if you guys are planning to buy a car come to daytona on sunday the last day of the main event and i know you guys go crazy over trucks just like i do and i'm looking at a 1969 gmc that's for sale for five thousand dollars if you guys want a cheap truck for five thousand dollars i think this is a deal breaker there's a number in case you guys want to call doesn't look bad as you guys can see it has a nice patina the only thing that is missing 
is the trimming it doesn't have the trimming on the side but it's a custom cab long bed big window i think for five thousand dollars maybe less you know you have a good deal i'm gonna show you guys another truck that i see here for sale this one is a 3100 i know you guys like 3100 cars just like me so i'm doing my best to show you all the cars they got for sale uh the last day of the event 1950 what is this 1953 3100 beautiful patina there's a number it doesn't have a price on it so if you guys want to buy a call him and ask for the price but the car looks really nice let me tell you i don't like the visor that it has in the front that's something that you will have to replace or leave it if you like it and i know another truck you guys like is a 1957 chevy 3100 this one they're selling it for ten thousand dollars or better offer if you guys look what i'm telling you um i guess when they first got here they were selling the truck for twelve thousand five hundred and they got it down to ten thousand dollars now you see why sunday is the best day to come and buy for cars parts or anything that you want people don't want to take these things home over here we got i have no idea what year this is very old truck but this one for ten thousand dollars man i don't think it's that bad you got a little bit of rust here but if you're someone that knows how to work on trucks and you're good with body work and all of that ten thousand dollars maybe less it's not a bad deal and this part over here is called the car corral and it's called the car corral because this is where people come to sell the cars so most most of the cars that you see here are for sale let's take a look at this uh, i believe it's a 1954 bel air and next to it we have an apache really nice apache yeah 54 bel air 350 power steering disc brakes twenty-five thousand five hundred dollars or better better offer and that's the number right there on the windshield beautiful color it's dropped in the front i think it's stuck in, in the rear and next to it we have 58 59 apache that's not for sale but it's a gorgeous truck i love the 58 and the 59 apache this one is a fleet line a uh, fleet line it's a fleet line no fleet line what is it it's not a fleet line yeah fleet line that's what it's called fleet line and fleet side fleet side fleet side that's what i meant fleet side and over here we got a 1950 chevy panel van very rare truck for sale at twenty eight thousand nine hundred dollars there's a number on the windshield if you guys are looking for a Texaco truck and I was walking and walking and walking to see if I could find something cool to show you and I bumped into this 1950 Chevy Coupe same exact car that I have Except this one is a lower trim the reason why i say that is because it, have, it doesn't have the chrome on the side of the fender and it doesn't have, it doesn't save the locks either but it's for sale at nineteen thousand nine hundred dollars meaning twenty thousand dollars interior is really nice as you guys can see here stick, stick shift is on the floor um it doesn't have a 216 engine i believe it has a 235 engine as you guys can see there it has headers and it has a 12 volt conversion i would like to speak to the owner of this car so that he can tell me a little bit more about the car but it's the same exact car as the one that i have now take a look at this badass truck it's not on bags as you guys liked it and as i like it but there's nothing cooler than an old school truck lifted and this one is a big example of it this one is also for sale i'm gonna go around so that you guys can take down the number in case you guys are interested in buying this truck for sale fifty two thousand dollars and there's the number beautiful truck so this is a 1955 buick beautiful car convertible beautiful interior uh, mostly original for sale fifty four thousand five hundred dollars you guys already saw the engine and now i'm gonna put on the dash on the uh, screen the phone number in case you guys want to call him there you have it beautiful car man if you like 
If you guys like um, original cars, this is a nice car to keep inside a garage for a couple more years before you decide to sell it. Alright guys, and this is the end. Sadly, it is the end up until next year. I cannot wait for 2021. Hope to see many people here. I know that due to the pandemic, a lot of people didn't come. Um, there's many vendors that I wanted to see and that I did, they didn't come either. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to let me know with a big like. Subscribe if it is your first time passing by the channel. Leave your comments down below. I read them all, even though I don't reply to every single one of them. But I do read them, read them all, and they mean a lot to me. So thank you. And thank you also to every single one of you guys that approached me, that came to say hi, that recognized me, that told me, hey, hey man, good things. Uh, I like your videos, all of that. It really means a lot to me. And it means even more meeting you guys in person uh, because you guys see me and know who I am, but obviously I don't know who you guys are. So it was, man, an incredible experience. So thank you guys. Up on to the next turkey run. Stay tuned for more videos and God bless you. See you on the next episode.